We just did the first trial. We also just helped uh, one of our classmates, uh, Dad. He was trading with the um, with the trolls. So now, let's get deeper in here. We have our um, our stuff. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta build a whole bunch of. I didn't realize we have this whole area down here we can build in. You guys, look at all this. Look at all this we could build in here. We have our two large. Oh, I'm not currently tracking anything. Well, we need to, um, we need to, there it is. We need to make some, uh, we don't have our tea. We don't have our tea stuff as well. Man, we, yeah, we didn't buy anything here. No. Well, do I have a scientific with three small botanical with three small? We'll do this. Kind of um, put it over here. Yeah, we'll do that. We had to change it to purple, though. We had to put it as purple. There we go. We have to get our main one in here. Oh, we have all this medium, 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 large. Purchased from dogweed and death cat. Oh, I need to go buy my venomous tentacula. Uh, you mean goblins, right? Yeah, goblins, trolls. <laughs> I'm thinking my next turn is going to be either Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw. Scar, I've been playing as Hufflepuff and the um, the Jackdaw storyline, at least. Pretty awesome as a Huffle Hufflepuff, I'll tell you that. I did the whole Jackdaw storyline as a Hufflepuff and oh yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, a mandrake, yes. And a malo sweet, yes. We have our guys over here. I think we have some of it up here as well. We need to move some stuff around. We moved it all downstairs so we can get rid of this. So we can get our moonstone back for that. Potions. I think we don't have a potion brewing, so we can get rid of that. All right. Where is my... Oh, I have my large pots up here. We can get rid of this. I'm going to move all my uh, pots and uh, potion stuff downstairs. Because I found this is the best way to handle it. At least for me. For my own organizational skills. So we have our, our desk of uh, identification. And then we can make our our loom right over here. Where's my loom at? Right here. Yep. Currently being occupied by what? What is that? Oh, that was really low. But thank you, Gazoodle, for the bits. Much appreciated, Gazoodle. Very much appreciated for the cheer and the bits. Very awesome. Thank you. Well, what my, uh, with my Slytherin run now complete, not 100%, but near enough, it may be time to do a second run. Yes, I haven't even, I didn't even wait to be done. I, I literally just ran another one because I didn't want to, I didn't want to play on my main save. I didn't want to play on this save and have you guys not see me, you know, you doing the cool stuff. But I also wanted to play. So I was like, okay, I'll just start a new save and go. We have our animals in here. Let's see if we can get anything for our animals. Give me that. Hey, you. Oh, we still need to... Okay, yeah. So, our animals, we just farmed all the resources from them. So, we're okay on that. So, you're going to go hunt the uh, giant purple toads? Yes. We got to do that. Got to do that. All right. So, we have large pots. We have small ones. We need mediums. That way, we can get some of our other uh, plants going. So, let's get our medium going. We only have two? That's okay. We can do that. There we go. Oh, we need to do it like this. There we go. Oh, no, no. It's the other way. There we go. Wait a minute. Is this medium? Oh, crap. I thought that was large. Man, I'm not paying attention at all. 
Well, we have medium. <laughs> so maybe we should go large now. Let's do a large. Let's do. Yep, we need some larges here. And. Let's do that. Boom. All right. So now we can plant some stuff in here. We can have one flux. We don't have the uh, the other one, so we're okay on that. Um, medium, medium. Any other mediums? Nope. So we'll do the chomping cabbage. And we have a shrivel fig. So we're also going to put some dittany in here. That's the only one we haven't planted yet. There we go. And then once we get the other one, we can plant that. We need to get our pots. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Now, what do we have to do? I have one side that's the room for herbology and statues. The other is for potions. Oh, I have my... I, I might show you guys my, my secondary save because I have it set up pretty well. We have to... Oh, we return to Professor Garlic. Get that done. Practice flying near the spires. Um, cast a pulso on a levitated enemy. Follow the butterflies. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of secondary stuff. So we need to get some... Um, we need to get some uh, money anyway. So let's do that. I'll use the map of the floating candles to find the treasure. Return to Alby Weeks. Oh, why did I not do that? How do I not do that already? I could do that. That's easy, Hogsmeade. We got to return to the broom guy and report our uh, our win. So let's do that real quick. I also have a very large statue in the center of the main room. Oh, nice. You need to put some screenshots up, Scar Tech, in the Discord. Sometimes it seems all right. Take some screenshots. Show off your cool uh, your builds in Hogwarts if you want. Back from your latest flight. Yes. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, oh, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound yeah. as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Yeah, I do need to set up some uh, channel specific for Hogwarts in the Discord. I might, when, I, when I'm finished with the stream today, I might do that. I was kind of doing some behind the scenes stuff over the weekend Best in the week Discord. I do make a good team. Cleaning up some of the stuff and linking some stuff. So I might need to make some more channels just for Hogwarts. I mean, there is an other games channel you can put it there for now if you want to. All right. So we did that. Knock that out. Uh, the pulso on a levitated enemy and practice flying near the spires. Oh, we could do those both at the same time. We might run into some enemies while we're flying around. So, of course, let's do that real quick. I got all the keys and house chest tokens and the reward is epic. I did that on my other save as well. I, uh, how close are we on this one? I think we're pretty close on this one. Um... Where's my Dedalian keys? Oh, we need three more? I think I know where those are. Those are probably in the faculty area because I'm not very good at that. But yeah, we could totally do that. We also need to go to the clock tower with the... There's one in there probably I missed. So I'm just kind of in my brain. I'm using that. Like, I think I know where I left my... My uh, stuff going. My stuff that I did not pick up. And a pet picture channel, Jason. Oh, we do need to do a pet picture channel. Maybe that's what we do. We, we'll do a pet picture. Cool pet picture channel. Uh, she's so cute. Yeah, we're going to have... Yeah, I, I got to post some pictures of Charlie because a lot of the pictures I posted were when she was a puppy, when she was like four months old. So she is now a year in um, November, December, January, February, three months. So, so she's a year and three months old now. So she's big and she's as she's as big as she's probably going to get. So she's about 50 pounds and she has really long legs. Everyone talks about her legs whenever they meet her. Like, man, she has some long legs and she loves to run. She loves to run. It's amazing. 
I'm not seeing any enemies. Come on, I need some enemies to fight so I can levitate them and then use a Depulso on them and push them away. There we go. Oh, I need to... Where's my... Oh my god, I have my... my I think uh, set up really weird. Yes, done. Easy enough. I think we're done. Slice a frozen enemy. I didn't do that, dang it. I was trying to... I was focused on trying to get my uh, mission done. Oh, well, we got that. And then we're going to do our balloons over here. What breed is she? She is what we were told because she was a rescue. She's Australian cattle dog. But we think she's also mixed with some other stuff. She she has the tricolored look. She does not have a purple tongue, so she's not mixed with uh oh god, I forgot the other breed of dog they normally are mixed with. But yeah, she is the uh she's not as shaggy. I, I was hoping she'd be more shaggy. Like she has really short hair. But that's okay though. I was hoping for the, the really cool shaggy looking tricolor uh cattle dogs. That would that would have been really cool. You know, the like the traditional, she looks like a sheepdog. You, if you guys know what a sheepdog is, she looks like that. But she's very, she's short hair and she has long what legs. What do you have in store for me this time? All right, let's see what we got going on here. Where is, where is my... Revelio. It is... Oh, man, I hate these ones. Looking for the little balls everywhere. Jimmy... Oh, nope. There's another one right here. Dude, okay. Um, Joker's Wild. Uh, Aussie streamer uh, Splitsy also has a Charlie. Near the same age, but she's a Great Dane and Irish Wolfhound. Dude, that would be amazingly. That's a big dog. A uh, Great Dane and a Wolfhound? Dude, that's a massive dog. Got that one. There's probably three of them. Yep, there's one over here. Now we gotta look for the little uh, balls around here, like up there, probably. Yeah, it looks like they're over here. Yep, yep, yep. Fourth of June. The patient's symptoms include pockmarked skin of greenish hue. Sparks sneezed from the nostrils and a green and purple rash between the toes. Textbook case of dragon pox, possibly lethal. I have pre prescribed a second dose of the Gorsmore cure, but it may not be sufficient. As such, I have further prescribed an elixir to induce euphoria to ease the patient's probable passing. Must sanitize my equipment, highly contagious. You obviously didn't sanitize good enough. No. Well, they died. Accio. Very nice. How many hours did it take? Curious if the amount of gameplay hours is accurate. Oh, for, uh, yeah, House Horse. Definitely House Horse. If you're an Irish Wolfhound and a great team, that's crazy. Oh, let me roll down here. How many hours? Well, I'm at 17. I think a, a first run through is probably going to take you, I've heard, 20 to 30 hours, depending on how deep you want to, you know, get into it. How many side missions you do, that kind of stuff. So I figure it's probably going to take me 20 to 30 hours, probably closer to 25. Rebellion. But yeah, I'm at 17 right now. Action. And I don't, I don't know if I'm where I need to be or should be. There we go. So we just have the one over there, huh? Where's the balls for that? Oh, maybe behind this bush right here? Or behind this rock? Yeah. All right. Come here. Come here. Come on. It took to get the story complete about 25 hours, but to complete all main quests about 35. Oh, really? Oh, where am I going? I'm going back to here. I need to go over here instead. I was thinking of, you know, probably 25, but I am doing a lot of side story stuff. I'm stopping to do Merlin stuff. So, tricky off the roof, so yeah, it is going to take me a little bit longer. Hello, are the Unforgivable Curses hard to get? Richie, I don't know. I haven't even run into any Unforgivable Curses yet. So, I don't know. 
It might be a side story thing. I don't know if you... You probably... You would imagine that they would put it in the main storyline, but I have no idea. It could be that it's the side story stuff. That if you don't do the side story stuff, you don't learn any of the, uh... The actual, uh, curses. And... Oh, yeah, she was over there, so we're gonna go... Right here. I can curse you, Jason, if you wish. <laughs> no, I'm good. I don't need any of the three. I'm I'm good. <laughs> or, I mean, if you swear, I might actually enjoy it. <laughs> That's what you're talking about. Uh, Welcome back. Have you finished your assignment? Reporting back, Professor. I did. Assignment's all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Ah. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, proven. incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Okay. Precise, deliberate movements. Boom. And boom. Ah, uh, cool. I haven't even watched much of the game, but I heard you can use them. Oh, I've heard that as well, but I haven't learned it yet. And we're we're kind of, I mean, 15, 17 hours in. And we haven't learned one of them yet, so Very it might be a side. I recommend practicing. All right, I need to I need to change my pages possible. here. So we have all those. That's fine. Yeah, those are good. This needs to be my um, yeah, probably my my pushes. And then these are going to be my yellows. So, there we go. And then this is going to be my extra stuff. So, for my grooming or whatever happens to be the case at that time. Oh, you leave here. That's, right. That's it. There we go. Keep it up. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, you do learn a lot of uh, uh, spells on the side missions. Like, that was a side mission. So you don't have to learn all of them, but it helps out a ton if you do. <laughs> Hello, Samantha. Are you here for someone as caught? I am. Oh, I hate this I'm crap. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until... Ugh, never I mind. hate these games. Shall we begin? I'm not good at them. That's why I hate them. Not that they're bad. I'm just not good at them, so that's why I don't like them. <laughs> if I was good, then I would love it because I could prove how cool I am. Yes, I'm ready to play. All right. Then let's get summoning. Let's get summoning. There's nothing to curse him in general. <laughs> you can curse me in general if you want to. I won't stop you if you really want to. <laughs> oh. Oh, we got wells of... Is that gravity? Okay, so they get sucked in. Okay, got it. So if you get in close to this well of gravity, it sucks it towards the center. And the center of this one happens to be off the edge. So you don't want to hit that one. All right. We don't want to hit that one. We want to hit... Oh, oh wait. I got to change my spells. There we go. So here we go. Ooh, that's a good one. Aha. Suck that, Samantha. How am I to top that? <laughs> Lapel, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Oh, get sucked off the edge. Ha! Fool, you fell for the trick. What was I thinking? I don't know. You're terrible. All right. Let's get this one on the edge over here. Ooh, a double 30. Oh, or 40? Is that, no, it's 30. It's 30. How am I to top that? You won't. You're going to lose. I think this is the first time I've beat them at this game on the first try. Well, knock on wood. Please be the first try. Yeah, I don't yes. think I don't think she can beat me. Yeah, even if I don't do anything, I still win. Akio. So I'm not even gonna try to tempt fate. I'm just gonna. There you go. Boom. I beat you. Ha <laughs> ha, Sam. That I beat settles you. it then. I had 80. She had uh, 60. I'm good. Or 50. I'm good. Oh, and more space in the... Uh, After your yes. poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. Really? You gonna, you gonna talk crap after I beat you? Come on. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Whatever. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. 
I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. What do I get for this? Just side mission stuff? Summoner's Court match two. Okay, yeah, I guess we did the side stuff. All right. Now we have to go do the my favorite uh, professor. Professor Garlic, dude. Big crush on Professor Garlic, gotta say. Love Professor Garlic. So let's get in here. Love Professor Garlic. She, my favorite of, of uh, every character in this game so far. Garlic is up there. Off on another adventure, She's, yeah. are we? I just want more beast. Yo, dude. I I have no doubt that the uh, DLC for this game is going to be freaking Rebellion. awesome. It's going to be amazing. We have my... Oh, there's my awesome Dittany. But we also have... There's one with the... Um, the... Oh, what is it? The Tenticula. Where is that at? Where's my tenticula? Not down here? I could have sworn it was. Maybe not. Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing tentacula. I've finished the tentacular. activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, like I spent redhead. hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. So much innuendo. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. There's now, too much innuendo. ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. It's too much innuendo. All right, we're going to calm down. Calm down. You focus with this spell. Nothing is mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Got to be good, Jason. Got to be good. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do We're going to do that. Yeah. Dependent. Yeah. Amaranth was like uh, cosplaying Professor Garlic while playing. Why you gonna? Why you gotta do that to me, Joker? Why you gotta do that to me? Rebellion. That's just evil of you, buddy. That's just evil. Okay, this is the room with the um, the tenticula in it, but I, I already picked it, so there's nothing in here anymore for now. So we're gonna come back later on. Can I get the Merlin's coat uh, drop from watching? No! Plays a house. I, I, I assume play a house. Play his house. <laughs> you only get it by watching the Avalanche official streams. And I don't know if they've uh, announced any of their streams. You have to go to the Avalanche Studios uh, Twitch channel. You can only get the Merlin's coat by watching their uh, streams. I mean, I love you watching mine, but if they're streaming, go watch those. Get that Merlin coat. When do you think the No Man's Sky update will be coming out? Uh, Matt Ryan, I, I, my guess is February 22nd. I, I, my gut says they wanted to do an update at the same time as the PSVR 2 launch. And so that would make sense. It's a Wednesday. It's next week. So my gut, my gut says next week we will see an update for No Man's Sky. Nothing official. I have no idea. I could be totally Rebellion. wrong. But that's what my gut says. All right. Let's see what we got going on for my other side stuff. Oh yeah, we could do the dandel the the dalian key the dalian keys. So let's go to our map. And where's my clock tower? Um, I think it's over here. The south wing. Uh the faculty tower. Um yeah, we're gonna go to the courtyard. By the way, I love you and No Man's Sky. You're No Man's Sky content. I watch you on YouTube. Thank you, Playa. Very much appreciated. And yeah, I just did an impossible challenge. I probably need to record another one of those episodes because I got really sucked into it. And then I started playing <laughs> I started playing this again. And I was like, oh, dang it. I got to actually keep going. I got to keep going with it. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving Rebellion. it. I am loving it. Getting back into it. After a little bit of a break, I, I appreciate it more. Orbs. So it is right here. Okay, that's the one. So we have to stop the uh, the pendulum over the symbol for the each door, and there's different symbols for doors. So we got to do that. Arrest the Here we go. Done. 
And look at that. Boom. Opens it up for me. Rebellion. And boom. That was it? We just got the one chest in here? Ah, well, that's okay. How did I miss that chest? I'll never know. All right. Well, I think we unlocked some of these already. Oh, yeah. We have to get this as well. Where's my... Of course I don't have that one. Oh, dang it. That's Lumos. the one thing. I do like crazy. Rebellion. All right. Well, I, got, if, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I did. Lumos. Give me that. You need these little butterflies to unlock the uh, the cool uh, windows. Or not windows. Uh, mirrors? Paintings? Whatever you want to call them. Let's get in here. Yeah. Give me my page. What do we have? 41 out of 50. We're almost at the maximum. And I will say, guys, those pages that I'm collecting, there is more than the required number. So it tells me I need 50 more. There is a way, way more than you need. So if you miss a few, it's Revenue. totally fine. You'll still be able to get your uh, your milestones, your challenges done. So what I mean by that is you have challenges for doing things like collecting pages, things like that. Like for this one, solving secrets in Hogwarts. <sighs> There's more secrets than you need to beat the requirement. Uh, field guide pages. Like right now, I'm looking for tw 25. This is going to be 50 right here. So I need 50. I need n nine more, but there's going to be at least 20 more. So there's more than enough. You don't have to get every single page. I would say do it because I'm a weird psycho and I have to collect everything. But you don't have to. Not for, uh, not for everything. I think I already did this one as well. Let's see. Rebellion. Oh, yeah. Look at it. It's already... Oh, yeah. I like how it's permanently unlocked. I love that. Uh, have you attended the History of Magic yet? I have not. <laughs> Where do you, uh, were you about to say dandelion keys? Yes. 100%. <laughs> Neil says 20 hours in. Loving it. I can't wait to play later. Adulting must... Yeah, I know. Damn bills. You got to pay stuff. Oh, man. That's what I hate. I hate when you have to... You know, number one, you're caught in a, between a rock and a hard place because you don't want to take time off because if the game sucks, you just wasted your time. But you also, okay, I knew there was one up here that I missed, but also if the game comes out and it's good, you're like, man, I got to go to work. <laughs> God. I, I hated doing that. I hated doing that. You know, you don't know whether to take time off or not. And so you just don't to be safe. Rebellion. And then the game comes out and it's amazing. You're like, damn it. <laughs> I mean, I wanted it to be good, but it kind of sucks that it was because now I, I have to go to work and stuff. All right. Oh, we got this one done too. Just making sure I got all the doors unlocked. I know I missed the one down there. Did I get all these? There's no other things around here. All right. And we're also going to go down to the faculty area, the um, the professor's area. Because I think we might have a uh, one of the cabinets over there as well. Rebellion. Oh wait, we had we could do that as well. So I learned this last night. Confringo. I did that, and I was like, wait a minute, how do I get that page? I can't get over there and see it, right? You could just grab it. Akira. I didn't even think about that. You could just grab them from wherever. So. If you unlock something or there's a page somewhere and you're like, oh, Alohomora. you can just grab it. I was like, man, I, how, how dumb was I? I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about it. I haven't seen an almost flawless release in a long time. Me and the missus are uh, racing each other to the back when 20 hours in different vengeful squid. If you are into survival horror games, Dead Space Remake, whew, such a good game. It's a full, it's a complete game. There, depending on if you're playing on PC or not, there might be some performance issues, but that's down to... Rebellion. There, it's a very demanding game, and so if you don't have, like, really top-notch stuff, it's going to kind of run kind of bad. But, I mean, it's better than a lot of the games. Like, it's way better than Callisto Protocol as far as performance goes. Some people like Callisto Protocol. I was not a big fan of that. 
I was very disappointed with Callista Protocol. But, but, Dead Space. Oh my god. It's so good. Where's this ringing come from? Oh yeah, Scar. I went into the middle uh, bathroom downstairs. I know what you're talking about now. Revelio. <laughs> I know what you're talking about now. I was like, oh, I missed this completely. But yeah, Dead Space. That was another complete, How really nice great launch. You, my young friend. I love that. So good. This is a uh, level two. Oh, no cap. I think I grabbed all the cabinets up here. Well, dang it. I might have grabbed all the cabinets. Well, dang. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything around here. Okay, we're good then. We have two more boxes to hit. So I believe there's one on the grand staircase. Let's go down. We're going to go farther back down. Maybe I missed the one farther deep, deeper in. I'm the one that can't handle horror, but uh, she would definitely beat me <laughs> through dead space. Not good to hear, but praise, man. Oh, dude, it is such a good... I... I had it I had it completely flipped. Last year, I was more excited for Callisto Protocol than the Dead Space remake because all the trailers for Callisto Protocol made it look like it was going to be the next really good space sur survival. It was going to be the next Dead Space. I was like, dude, Rebellion. I don't care about the remake. The remake's going to suck because it's a remake. I've already played that, but man, Callisto Protocol, I was completely wrong. I was completely Confirm. wrong. Because, man, Dead, Dead Space was the game, and Callisto Protocol, to me, was kind of a letdown. Rebellion. Give me that. This is a jewel-encrusted tortoise shell. Many assume this would be the shell of a fire crab native to Fiji. However, those in the know swear it's a bejeweled tortoise shell created by a mad wizard near Versailles. Versailles. When his chateau was overrun by Nif Nifflers... The, day's show, the dazzling shell was carried off to be discovered years later by Hogwarts professor on holiday in the Ardennes. Oh, yeah, see, I, I, I was all confident with my pronunciation earlier. <laughs> my pronunciation. <Rebellion. laughs> and then I messed it all up. Oh, wait, do I have to, did I miss another one? Where are you at? That's on the left. Wait a minute, is it down here on the left? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we have another puzzle here. We could do these. I learned how to do these ones, so now we can do this. All right, so the single question mark is a spider and a five. So spider is the eight, number eight. So if you guys don't know, all the numbers correspond to the symbol. So that's a zero. Bottom left is a zero. One is the unicorn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine is for this, I, I'm guessing, a Medusa-looking one. And so you know that the spider is number eight. So eight plus five, that's the other number in this triangle, eight plus five is 13. So that means this question mark is going to actually be a zero, just so happens to be this cool owl-looking one. So let's do that. Boom. And then this one at the bottom is a uh, three plus a uh, dragon face. So that's a number two. So that'd be a five, which means that to get to 14, you need a nine, as the double question mark. And nine is the Medusa looking uh, symbol. So let's do this real quick. Not that one. That's the Hydra. There you go. That's the Medusa or the tree, whatever you want to call it. And now you try to open the door. Don't hit that. What the heck was that about? Oh my God. I was trying to open the door, not do this. All right. Don't touch that. And then it disappears when you, when you get the answer right. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Rebellion. So that is how you solve those doors. Found that out. Oh, I didn't get any good equipment, though. Number one! Uh, zero is a uh, demi, guys. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like an owl to me. I mean, it, it does make it... Yeah, it is a demi, guys. There's no owls on this, though. Oh, no, that is an owl. I guess that would be an owl. That looks like an uh, owl. <laughs> demi, guys. Owl. A demiguy's owl. <laughs> All right. Revelio. There should be a... Oh, there's a cabinet right here. Beautiful. And I did... Look at that. I even got the key down here, but I just did not open it. What a dork. What a dork. I don't know why I didn't open it. 
I kind of figured the faculty wing is where I would lose a lot of my uh, my keys. So we just need one more. I'm trying to think. Maybe the grand staircase. That might be the one. The grand staircase might be the one we need to get into. So let's get around here. Nope, nope. I think I've done all this stuff. Where's my door out? Oh, right here. That's the door. It doesn't look like a door. We are fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the demo. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguys statues? Actually, I have some moons for you right here. I actually have some moons for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the fewer of these statues I see, the better. <laughs> uh, you keep your eye out for others, and I'll teach you more about Alahamora. Alahamora. I'll keep looking. I'll keep an eye out for more demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night. Thank you. We have one Revelio. more. I'm just looking for cabinets. That's why I'm doing Revelio all over the place, because I don't know which one I yes, skipped. Yes, I told you. You're very clever. Clever? How offensive. So I think there's one at the bottom of the staircase next to the Slytherin house, I believe. And that it would make sense that that's the one I haven't seen yet because I did not venture very uh, far south in this uh, playthrough. I was going all over the place in my other uh, save. My other save, I was, I was looking for everything I could possibly find. Oh yeah, I definitely. I didn't even have the food flame now? down here. All right, let's see. A chest over here. Field guide. Kelpi statue. This statue depicts the Kelpi, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, also known as the Loch Ness monster, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpi ever reported is the Loch Ness monster in Scotland. Yes. I, didn't, I, I swear I didn't read that whole thing. I, I read it line by line. Ha ha. Oh, dang it. I forgot I had to be invisible for that. So let me uh, switch it over. Expelliarmus. No. There we go. Kelp. Kelpy? Kelpy? No, I like kelp I. I have to mispronounce everything. You know the rules. You know the rules, Heather. I got I to gotta mispronounce the crap out of everything. <laughs> That way, when I accidentally do it, like, you know, when I do it because I don't know this, it just se it seems like I'm doing everything on purpose. That's the trick. If you do it to everything, then it feels like you're doing it on purpose all the time. <laughs> uh, Revelio. Where is my... Oh, there's, a, there's a thing over here. What? Is it upstairs? Yeah, it has to be upstairs. I didn't see a notepad anywhere down here. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, right there. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but like if I'm facing this way, it sounds like it's behind me. I'm wearing headphones, so maybe it's easier for me to hear. And if you do it this way, I can hear it on my right. And if I do it again, I'll hear it on my left. So you can kind of hear the direction it comes Many from. An adversary underestimated my adroitness with a sword. Portrait of Sir Cadogan. <laughs> Cadogan. Sir Cadogan was allegedly friends with Merlin himself, and as such, became a sworn knight of the round table, although he's only really known to the wizarding world. He is famous for his defeat of the Wyvern of Y, and now spends his days challenging students to duels. All right. Oh, we leveled up. Revelio. It's on the left. All right, it's in here. Oh, maybe downstairs. I hear it. I hear it. I think it's a bad camera angle. LOL. Maybe. I don't know what my. Oh no! Are you talking about my my left and my right? I have it uh, reversed because if I'm looking this direction, you know I'm looking at the game. Naturally, I'd be looking this direction. That is the right way. That is literally the right. But 
I had to reverse it so I don't look like it's a it, it's a camera angle for the uh, looking at the game. So it looks Rebellion. like when I'm playing on camera, it looks like I'm actually looking at the screen versus looking off the screen. It's a weird thing. I know. I know. I generally don't like to do left and right because it confuses everyone when my left is your is different than yours. Where is my box? Wait, one more freaking thing. And this is the hard part. But I can't remember which one I skipped. So I have to check all the locations of all the boxes. Or all the cabinets, I should say. Oh, there's one right here. Rebellion. The statue of Gregory the Smarmy. This statue with an invigorating or an into ingratiating grin depicts the uh, medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's untuckulous unication. I'm never going to pronounce any of this stuff. A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. I need a few of those. Sir Cadigan also changed the password of the uh, Gryffindor common room every day. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. Just to mess with all the Rebellion. kids. Indeed, your field I guide. love it. I'm most I love it. Okay, with that cabinet's done. Let's go out here. We have all this. Try to also look for any pages I can pick up along the way. Any cabinets around here? No? No? Oh, there's a statue up there I can open. Level up, oh, level one. Let's do this. I haven't, che Hamora. I haven't checked this one. Uh, hey, thank you for watching. You are awesome. Thank you, uh, Streamlabs. You're awesome, too. All right. There we go. I like this kind of lock picking. It, it doesn't make sense for a lock, but I appreciate it. It's a simple game. You can, every, but basically, anybody can probably do. It's not too complicated. There we go. Up oh, right here. So for these statues, you just have to uh, levitate. So Leviosa. there you go. Easy enough. There we go. Revelio. No. Off on another adventure, are we? Is that a cabinet I see? No, that's a door. Yeah, this looks like a door. Is this a lock? What level is this? Level one lock. I'll take Hello, it. Lamora. If you ask Rick Astley for a DVD of the movie Up, he won't give it to you because he's never going to give you Up. I love that. However, not giving you Up is like you asked for it. He's letting you down. This is known as the Astley parent. <laughs> yes, he's not going to give you Up, but he is letting you down. Uh, Ace of Aces says, wait, you play other games other than No Man's Sky? Yes, I do. Oh, you're going to be pleasantly surprised when Starfield finally comes out. I will be all over Starfield like crazy. Oh, uh, dear Professor Weasley. Oh, this is her room. I think for your, uh, thank you for your owl. I am overjoyed to hear that this most recent crop of seventh years includes a number of students who may be both interested in and well suited for a career at the ministry. Of course, their owls will provide confirmation of the latter, but equally invaluable to our recruitment process is your opinion. You have a unique perspective given your experience with us, and for that, I am truly grateful. I look forward to further updates as the term progresses. Respectfully yours, Ferris Spaven, <laughs> Minister for Magic in London. Revelio. out here in the hallway, I think. All right, I guess not. Well, we're not going to spend too much time. And I can run around out here. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Did we come from over here? I think we might have. Oh, no, no, we did not. Oh, no, we did. Dang it. I'm getting confused on myself. Let's go across. I swear I hear that uh, ding sound in my sleep now, dude. Yes, 100%. Revelio. I am all, I'm constantly hearing it. <laughs> and I, it's almost like when you, you hear your phone ring, even though it did not ring because you're, you're anticipating it ring. That's what it feels like. I'm constantly hearing that dinging sound. Oh, wait. 
We have an eyeball uh, chest over here. I gotta sneak up on. Thank you. Oh wait. Revelio. Where are you at? I gotta find the one cabinet, the last cabinet. Oh, there is something I I, I found last night. Of this that threw me off. I think we should have a moon calf in charge. <laughs> okay, the gargoyles, I love them. Awful when they ask you there is a painting that has a door on it, and I'm sure there's others as well, but man. It threw me off when that happened. Do I think okay. it's me. What? <laughs> oh, I haven't been over here yet either. Oh my god. I've always said that travel Revelio. I really want Oh wait. We have to go. I think you have to light it up first before you can actually get the moth over here. So let's do that. Every time. I'm not patient. Lumos. All right. Oh, the castle is huge. Dude, Heather, the castle is massive. I love. I mean, and it's an open world game, and it doesn't have to be, like, the map doesn't have to be that big. It is, but it doesn't have to be because these locations are so detailed, and there's so much room. Oh, there's so many different rooms and stuff around that it's crazy. The amount of care and detail they put into this is insane. It's just crazy awesome. It's astonishing. Revelio. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yep, I remember that one. You can't see me. Even though I just shot a... A thing right in front of you. Thank you. If you take off the dis disillusionment charm after opening the eyeball chest, it looks at you like, why? Why did you do that? I know. Well, it just cries, too. It, you see its eye, like, flutter a little bit, and you're like, oh, you feel terrible. At least I feel terrible. I, I took its treasure from it. <laughs> and it just, like, collapses in disappointment. All right. We've gone through a lot of this area. We still haven't found our last cabin. That's all I ask. Let's go upstairs. Revelio. Looking for a big cabinet looking uh, shadow like that. Look at that last one. There we go. Last one we need, guys. This is going to be easy. I got all the keys to the location. I just did not open the cabinets. Yes. Because I'm a fool. <laughs> I didn't open the cabinet. Got all of them. So now we need to head back to our uh, our wing over here, the Great Hall. Um. Oh wait a minute, that's not the one. Sorry, that's the Hufflepuff area, not mine. Um. Shoot. Where is my wing? Over here. Library, noob. South wing. Gryffindor common room. There we go. It's a gorgeous looking game. It is, James. It is so good. The only thing that upsets me about the PC port is that you need a lot of RAM for this thing to run really well. Like, I have a way overly done PC because I, I edit, I stream, I do all that kind of stuff to it. But a normal person is not going to have 16 or 32 gigabytes of RAM. Most people don't need that much. I mean... Honestly, eight, eight gigs is usually pretty good enough. Maybe 16 if you want to be fancy. But this game chews up RAM like crazy. Thankfully, I have 64 gigabytes of RAM, so That's I got it. plenty. I'm making good progress with those tokens. I hate that you have to put in each one individually. I mean, this I get Dedalian it. This Dedalian Keys Challenge is coming along nicely. But man. Here we go. The last house token. Last house Time token. To see what's inside. Yeah! We opened it! I'm glad that my PC can handle it, dude. I mean, it runs, but it'll get kind of shaky if you don't have enough RAM. So, heck yeah, Heather. So we got it. We're done. Oh, we need to go talk to what's her name again. Well, look at that. Thanks goes to the former headmistress, Upraxia Mole. So we just got a, uh, a robe. So if you want to go in and look at it, you have to... Oh, what do I have here? Oh, just crap, I don't need... Okay. 
Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta get rid of all the highlight stuff. Get rid of all that. Sorry, if there's an exclamation point, I need to get rid of it. But if you go to your robes, go to your cosmetics, now we have our... Oh, uh, wait a minute, right here. Boom, Gryffindor Relic House. So you, no matter which house you have, you have a different one. So for the Hufflepuff, I got the Hufflepuff Relic House. This one, because I'm part of Gryffindor, I get the Gryffindor one. And that's what it looks like. Look at that robe! That is really cool. I like that. We're going to wear this one for a while. It matches my pumpkin head as well. So, yes, we're going to run with that for a while. Look at this thing! That looks really cool. All right. We have to go talk to what's-her-name. And tell her that we found all the tokens. And Vlad, thank you for subscribing with Prime. Much appreciated for that. Much appreciated. Oh, gotta go down here. So we got all the Dalian keys, the Dandelion keys. Revelio. Did I open this already? I did. Okay. See, I opened up most of this. Oh, I didn't get the I didn't get the freaking thing on it though. The um the painting. Lumos. Uh, we'll see. We'll find one. I think the butterflies Revenue. don't appear until you uh, reveal the painting. Like that, right there. Boom. You see it? Look at that. Easy enough. In here. Lumos. Oh, we can go through the bathroom. We can go through the bathroom, guys. So I will be doing that after we do this real quick. Love that the music room is all the paintings are playing together. It is. The detail in this game is freaking amazing. Give me that. Oh, we need one more page and we will be done with our challenge. But again, there's going to be so many more pages after that. So you don't need to find all of them. You can find a majority of them and Rebellion. be good. So guys, I totally missed this last time. I went to this one and I don't know why I did that. I should have just gone to this one in the center. Because look at this. Look at that. Look at that. What do we have here? A demigod. A demigod. Let me grab my scarf. And then we have to turn it to uh, nighttime. That way I can pick up the demigods. So let's do that. We're going to wait for nighttime. Uh, you're further well, along no, than I am, so I'm going to head out. Oh, Griffin. No worries, man. I understand. People don't like spoilers. I... I can appreciate that. If you want to play it, heck yeah, do it. You want to experience it all on your own. Definitely do that. There we go. We got our demi guys out of there. Love it. All right. So let's go talk to uh, Nelly and tell her that we got all of our freaking uh, our, our coins, our tokens. So now we have the cool robes. We're even going to tell her with the robes on. That way she feels even more jealous. Lumos. Yeah, I think you need to light them up before the uh, the butterfly appears. Rebellion. Oh, let's go down here. That way we can complete the mission and be done with it. Love it. It is nighttime, too. We have to look for some get demi guys. All right. Did you watch the third Harry Potter movie over the weekend? I did not, Gazoodle. Uh, we actually uh, watched Clarkson's Farm over the weekend, and I thoroughly loved that season. The second season came out on Friday. I forgot. In all the Harry Potter uh, excitement, I forgot about uh, Clarkson Farm season two. So I don't know if you like Jeremy Clarkson or not. I love him, and I watched the crap out of Clarkson Farm season two on Amazon. It is freaking good. Freaking good. I still like the first season Hello, better. Nelly. Second Actually, one. I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. I'm wearing it now. Oh, well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. <laughs> she doesn't sound jealous at all. The Dalian keys. The dandelion keys. Done. Oh yeah, we got our. Uh, we gotta check through some stuff. What am I at on gear? Am I full yet? I don't want to get too full of gear because then I'll be screwed. Uh, Seventeen out of twenty-eight, we're good. Uh, Sixty-nine. That's the best scarf in the game. Um, I'm, you know, you know why. You know why. I don't need to explain it. All right. 
Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, we need to change our wand handle because I like purple. But if we're going to go with orange, we need an orange handle as well. That one looks kind of cool. Let's see if we got a better one. That is, if yeah, we're going to go with autumn like orange, we have to have an orange handle. Whoa, what is this? Ooh, it's a eh, dark brown. Yeah, we don't have... I guess this is going to be the closest one we got. All right, that'll be the goodest, the good one. Did you watch the third Harry Potter movie over the... Oh, yeah, sorry, Skizoodle. I did read that earlier. No, I did not. All right. So we're good on all this. Let's go my talents. I have that maxed out. I have my spells going. Let's get our stealth. That way we're good on that. There we go. So now our stealth is maxed out. Our core is maxed out. We can start focusing on these other ones now. I love it. Uh, third one is pretty good. It looks interesting. The biggest selling factor to me is it's a lot shorter than the other movies. Not saying that they're bad, but Revenge. I mean, three hours long is pretty dang What's long for a kid's now? movie. Or a kid or a movie aimed at children. I was like, really? That is some intense watching for a kid. But I will. I, I do plan on watching all of the movies. So that is on the list of things to uh, oh, wait, wait, we have our Descendo already. Okay, let's go do that. So, we probably have to go to, uh, we have to go during the day, I'm willing to bet. So, let's get over here. Deviation. Division. D uh, deviation. Deviation class. Deviation. There we go. We're going to go with that. Deviation clash. Class. Clash. Oh, wow. <laughs> Peeves is up there sliding down. Look at this. Oh, he's down there. Okay, he's farther down. Oh, we have to go up here. Let's uh, wait for daytime because we have to go during class time. So let's wait. Gotta go to the day. Third film is not just good. It is beastly. <laughs> Scar. <laughs> yeah, it does appear that the movies grew up with the fans as they progressed. Dude, the second movie was super dark already. <sighs> You're killing kids? I was like, wow. I mean, not many kids died, but still. I, I was like, dang. How bored I'd be in divination class. Divination. Deviation. Deviation. You mispronounced that. It's deviation class. Rebellion. And I re if I remember right, this is uh, Natty's mom. She's the professor. There's the guy that helped us with uh, flying. What? Did she just teach him something? <laughs> By magic? All right. Or, okay, we're reading tarot cards and tea leaves. Okay. Okay. I read the first book when I was 11, so it was Harry. It was really fun growing up and reading the books. Yes, mental. Yes, that's awesome. See, I'm coming down it years, decades later than I probably should have. <laughs> but hey, I still enjoy it. Even as an adult, I think this is pretty cool. I love all this cool stuff. It's very, what do very we have cool. Here? <gasps> A I hope guys. those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. So she knew? Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? I see... I see triumph. I'm gonna win, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna beat everything because I am the chosen one, I guess. There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is 
any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Have a gamer your towards your oh, targets. I want to get some curved monitors, man. 34 inch curved monitor, dude. Just, you have to just explain uh, explain to your spouse that uh, you know, uh, Harry Potter is or Hogwarts is a test for the monitors. You have to make sure the monitors work correctly. And Harry Potter, it has a whole bunch of features to test out your monitor. That's how you explain it. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'll let you explain that to her. Dude, I'll tell her. I'll be like, look. You have it. Now. Papa Gamer's wife or girlfriend, however it may be. In this, look at all of these. You have to activate all of this stuff. And you need to use this stuff on a new monitor to see how fully it works. I mean, we have uh, V-Sync, frame rate testing, HDR. You need to test out a new monitor by using all of this stuff. Image calibration, field of view, motion blur. All of this stuff is important to see if it works on a brand new monitor. So he needs this game. He needs Hogwarts to test out a brand new monitor. It's a, it's a requirement. How else are you going to know if the monitor works right or not? You got to do it. Practice you the have new to. spell on the training dummy. <laughs> Hopefully that's good. <laughs> Hopefully that's good for you, man. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> RTX experience. Exactly. Ray tracing. All that stuff. You got to make sure it works. Defendo. All right, because we're here and we know that there is a demi guys right here, here, we have to pick it up while we're here. That way, I don't have to come back up the staircase to do all that kind of stuff because I'm lazy. I don't want to come back. Not that I, you know, hate it or whatever, but walking up that uh, now, ladder guys. or climbing that ladder was terrible. Oh Professor, no! Do you have a moment? Sure. I, do. I was wondering how you decided well, to, learn about to teach her. divination. Ah. The art of divination is an important yet often misunderstood branch of magic. Those of 43. us who possess the sight Papa, are rare. Congratulations and, on that. As is often the case with the unique among us, we can frequently be misread, even feared. When I was granted the opportunity to teach others about my gift and the good it can do, I was most grateful. I see. <laughs> Natty told me that you and she moved here from Uganda, where she had attended Wagadu. Yes, Natsai and I both loved Uganda and Wagadu, but we are happily settled here now. I had foreseen such a change, but did not know the details until it occurred. I was glad of the outcome. You would be wise to remember that the consequences of our actions are complex. And so, divining what is to come is not as simple as gazing into a crystal ball or studying the bottom of a teacup. I find it truly intriguing, even if I don't fully understand it. Yeah. <laughs> intriguing. That is one word for it. And I'm certain you will come to understand many things more deeply in the days ahead. You are a student at Hogwarts, after all. It cannot have escaped you that we in the Wizarden world are forever navigating the seemingly inexplicable. Of course, Professor. Now, I know that we both have places to be. Not because I have the sight, mind you, but because I am a professor and you are a student. Papa Gamer. I have enjoyed our conversation. Papa Gamer, exactly. 44. That's a long, long time. Especially if you ask my wife. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we've been together for eight years in March. In March, it'll be eight years. And there are days and weeks I, I'm surprised my wife is still around. <laughs> oh, you know, all these video game stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buying a, a, a graphics card. <sighs> yeah, I get murdered. I you might be surprised I'm still around to get murdered. Oh, uh, up here. There we go. Rebellion. Did I get everything in here? I think I did. Oh, wait a minute. There's stuff over here. Oh, we missed. Okay, guys. Here you go. If you don't understand these uh, locked doors, look at this. This will tell you everything you need to know. 
it tells you all of the numbers. It, it explains, it breaks it down right here. I can't believe I missed this par portion of this area. But yeah, so it breaks down what the symbols mean. Like the demiguise is a zero, unicorn one, all this stuff. So you know, and then you can look at the doors and go, oh, those are the symbols around the door, right? And so then you can kind of get in here and go, okay, that's what it means. The two plus the symbol equals whatever number. And you just try to add all three numbers up to equal out the center. So two plus the, uh, the Hydra, which would be a number three. So that's five, which means the one question mark is a five. Wait, wait, wait. Two and a three, that's five. So no, it's a four. So we need to go to a four. So that's three, four. That is the owl. Right there. And then this one down below is a one plus a zero is one. So to get to four, we need to add three to it. So the double question mark is at number three. So one, two, three. That's the Hydra. There you go. And so that's the answer. Uh, did tell you that on Friday. Yes. Uh, she says there's always a kid in the house. Hey, no. I, 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 I act my shoe size. Uh, congrats indeed. You don't hear many lasting that long nowadays. Dude, seriously. Yeah, 40 years. That's a long time. I and mean, not saying that it's a bad or a good is. thing, but yeah, you don't hear about that very often. You, you, most of the time, you know, people, you know, the, you get together and you don't realize this or that or whatever, and people just end up growing apart. Not that it's a bad thing or it's shameful, but it's one of those, it's just part of life. And so to find someone that you can hang out with for 40 years, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good feat there. A rhythm uh, rhythmancy clathroom? Arithmancy. Arithmancy. Mathmancy. We're gonna call it Mathmancy. Classroom. This classroom is where students learn about the magical properties of numbers and numerology. Though a great many opt instead to spend the period counting moon calves whilst nodding off in their desk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if you guys are math people or not, but I was kind of a math person. Oh but yeah, see this one's harder crab and a gecko so crab is a one two three four five and a gecko is a six so that would be 11 to get to 15 you need to add another four so four would be the owl and then the other one is a 13 and the uh that is a zero so it'd be 13 so we need to get to a five again that would be the crab There you go. I found that math sheet of paper that explains the symbols and their numer <laughs> numerical value way too late in my playthrough. I know exactly. I just found it now. I just found it now. <laughs> I was like, what? How did I not We're already find this? I'm not paying attention. I'm not searching where I need to search, you guys. Obviously. <laughs> uh, so we have a six plus a five. That equals 11. So to get to 17, you need another six, which would be the gecko. Gecko. Here we go. And then we have a zero plus the weird octopus looking thing. The, uh, you want to call it the, uh, squid. So that would be a eight, seven. So we just need to add a one to it, which would be a unicorn. There you go. Easy peasy. I, I feel like I'm picking up a lot of gear, but I haven't checked it in a while. Let's see if we got anything good. Anything good here? No. Oh, wait a minute. We do have one that's good right here. I'll take that. Oh, really? It kept my... Uh... Oh, because it's not a, a face covering. It's a head covering. Okay, got it. So if I change my... If I change the glasses under my helmet, you'll never see them because my, my pumpkin head covers it. Got it. There you go. I was wondering. I was like, oh, it didn't change it. They really should let you keep... Like, the one thing I hate is when you change your gear, it changes it to whatever gear that is, even if you transmogged it. It's like, come on. I wanted to stay the uh, thing I picked, so just don't do that. All right, let's do field guide pages. 
Oh, completed. Collect 50 field guide pages. There we are. Done and done. All right, let's see our other quest going on in here. Shadow of the Estates. Meet Sebastian in Fieldcroft. I think this might be one where we learned some uh, curses. Follow the butterflies. Find the Absconder's Cave. Man behind the moon. We need to find some more moons. The Ghost of our love. Um, let's do the butterflies. I can do this one pretty easy. So, we've done we've done a lot of these already, but we have to do the mission now to see what they are. Like we've just naturally have done this stuff, but now we need to basically the walkthrough, the tutorial on what the butterflies do and what they mean. Not the pumpkin mask. Yeah, <laughs> not the pumpkin mask. Uh, just curious, how do I get my name on Twitch to be purple color? I noticed it changed from green to a puke colored yellow. I don't know, legendaries. I have no idea. Revelio. Okay, okay, guys, calm down. Calm down. Hey, calm down. All right, we're really excited. We gotta go. I don't know how to change your name on the uh, on Twitch or the name color, I should say. I don't know. Let's grab. Huh. There they are. There's he wasn't my making it up. Butterflies. Oh yeah, we gotta go kill this enemy down here. Well, we've come this far. Really, we might get an offer about these butterflies. Wow. Good for you. Dang it. Yeah, done and done. Easy enough. Get up his uh, tongue. Give me all the juices. Now the butterflies Rebellion. will walk through here or they'll uh, fly through here. And then they come up over here. If I if I was following them, but I had to just kill an enemy real quick. So they fly over here, and they won't do anything until you reveal the location. So yeah, see how they're Miss flying around? You will never believe where the butterflies led me. And they reveal a chest. Well, well. Look and they're all over the place. Here. They're all over the place. So now we have to go back to the uh, three broomsticks. Also, map with the floating candles, uh, Lumos on the bridge near the Forbidden Forest, Foo Flame. Oh, really? I'm gonna have to look at that map Does it again. Get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I, th that's the one thing I wish they would uh, they would fix or adjust. When you have to look at a treasure map, instead of saying, "Oh, I have to press pause," I have to go into my inventory, then I have to go to the map inventory, then I have to pick up the map, and it's like, why? Why make me go through all of that? Why not have like a a, a quick button? To just say, hey, would you like to look at the map? Hit this button and you pick up the map. And you can look at it anytime you want instead of going through all the menus to get to this map. Yeah, I see the, the dark forest. I see Lumina. Okay, yeah. Through uh, some stone arches. Okay, we got it. But yeah, let's do the butterflies first because this girl keeps asking about the dang butterflies. Oh, please. I do, finally, so you can stop yelling at me about the butterflies, Clementine. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? Yes, and I was rewarded. They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? Should I dare? All right. Thank you. We're done with that one now. We're good. We need. All, we also need to buy some uh, equipment from the uh, spells and tomes down here. So let's do that. We can also Just sell let me some know stuff. if there's something in particular you're looking for. Let's sell some of the equipment we don't need. Any of the stuff like we don't need that. 69. <laughs> uh, 
Sell that. Sell that. All the stuff that's lower level than I am and has lower specs on it. Yep. There we go. All the greens and blues for sure are getting sold. I want the legendaries, the yellows, or the oranges, whatever you want to call it. See, I've, I've already upgraded that, but we're going to keep that for now. All right, so I want the T-shaped potion station because this will actually let me brew three different potions at once. So you get three of them. Nothing like finding just the right thing. Is I also want the beast feeder. That way they're always fed. There we go. All right. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I also need to buy my venomous plant. Um, so let's go over here. Also, follow the butterflies. The quest you just did is a nice little Easter egg to Ron Weasley's line in the Chamber of Secrets. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? <laughs> okay, okay. I did not notice. I didn't catch that one. I think I, I, I watched the Chamber of Secrets. That was the last one I did watch. So yeah, I didn't catch that. Did not catch it at all. I remember you. Rebellion. There we go. Oh, there's a box down here I didn't get. What? Yeah, give me that extra 50 bucks. Get the chest over there. I did. Okay. Hogsmeade, here I come. Grab this. I believe. He will Greetings. Me. Please take your time looking about. No? I thought you sold. No, I guess not, huh? No one can say I don't keep it stuck. He does not sell it, I wonder, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I don't need that one because I have a better one. Yeah, see, I'm at 82. Okay, okay. I can just sell the one for you. Okay. I can sell that. I had to check that for a second before Let I sold guess. it. You're after something fresh. Yes. Oh, the one at the, the northern end? No oh, one can dang say it. I don't keep a stack shelf. I wasn't paying attention. I, I, I had to go to the one on the north end. Here's the cemetery. How creepy it looking with all the fogginess on it. I love it. You know, I don't know why I'm walking this whole way when I could have just flown. Oh, that's why. That's why. Rebellion. Wait. Abandoned shop. The proprietor of this abandoned shop is said to have used a shrinking charm to aid in storing his inventory. However, a slight miscalculation ended up for all intents and purposes vanishing it. So now it's just tiny. Everything is tiny, probably. See that? Oh no, I don't. I'm running out of space now. All right. Lumos. There we go. How do you confuse the Reducio with. The, the, yeah. I would confuse that. I would confuse that like crazy. Lumos. Come on over. There we go. Easy enough. Those pages. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> oh. Talked to the wrong guy, Sky. Oh yeah, I can't I can't use my broom here. That's why I didn't use it. Wrong button. Wrong button. All right. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yeah, calm down. I always say that. Have a Rebellion. Look. With you in just a minute. Oh, there's a chest outside the door. Okay, let me talk to you. Beatrice. Well, what say we show you Reducio some equals shrinking. Available. Evanesco equals vanishing. I mean, I, what I'm saying is maybe he used too much Reduso. And Reducio. And so now he's so reduced that he looks like he vanished. 
Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Lumos. You'll go far. Oh, that's gonna be above. Okay, that's, I, I know where that is. It's over there. Revelio. Oh god, do I have to climb? Yeah, I gotta climb. Get this one done. Oh, we have the chest. I didn't. I didn't. Oh dang it. Lumos. If they see me. Get in here. Hope you're not here for a knot grass frig, because I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Getting all these pages, all the experience. There we go. Let me get my other. Climb up here. Let me go after this one. It'll give me another 500. Feel bad. I always feel bad. All right. Well, let's go back to our... Um, let's go back to the room. We can harvest some stuff. Secret room. We should have a... Everything should have uh, reset by now. So we can go... Yeah, it is the whimpering. The whimpering and then the eye, like, looks like he's going to cry. Yeah. Poor little guy. We just destroyed his... All his hopes and dreams. We also got our... Our awesome uh, feeder, auto feeder. So let's do that real quick. So that way we don't have to feed them anymore. So we have right here. That's pretty big, so <laughs> that's what she said. All right, let's put it over here. That way they have a feeding area. Now look at this. The food just comes right in. Auto feeder. What do we have out here? Oh, we have a whole bunch of statues and stuff we could put out here if we wanted to. Like if we wanted to put a, a bench for sitting. There you go. We have our good trees as well. There's some pillars, some good stuff like that. Ground surface, so you get a whole bunch of stuff. But now I don't have to feed them. They will automatically be fed. Notice how they're all coming over here to, to check it out. Now you just have to brush them. And now I can just pick it up. Boom, boom. Where's my, um, where's my other one, my round one? Rebellion. There you are, buddy. Hey, man. Doop, doop, doop. Where's my feed? Let him eat. If only No Man's Sky had an auto feeder like that. It does have an auto feeder like that. I mean, I will say Harry Potter has more of a majestic looking auto feeder. It just does it on its own. But yeah, you can get an auto feeder in No Man's Sky. You just need to keep making sure there's enough food in it. <laughs> that's the only that's the only issue. You gotta make sure there's food. Alright, we've done that. So now let's go down here and check all of our uh, potions on our plants. Plants should be good, yes, yes. And we need to plant in our venomous tenticula. That way, that'll grow. But we can also... Doop, doop, doop. We need to conjure. We have our potions. We have a triple potion station now. So we can do this. So now we can do three potions at once. Oh, we need to learn our potions, dang it. So if we need to do that. 
that. And that. There we go. Invisibility. And yeah, you can just sit there. Instead of doing one at a time, you can actually brew up three of them. I love using the chomping cabbages on panda camps. Stealth kills. Yes! I gotta try that. I haven't done it stealthily. Maybe we sh I should do, do that. And you don't have to sit here and wait for him. I am, because I'm gonna try to get all this stuff ready to go. Let's do another one. Another round. There we go. Uh, got the drop set up for the future. You need to play until I get all of them. Marathon time. Dude! Papa, you only need to watch for uh, two hours, I think. So you need to uh, watch for half an hour, claim your drop, watch for another half an hour, claim it. You have to claim it. The timer doesn't start on the next drop until you've claimed the one you've earned. So keep that in mind, you guys, if you're trying to get the drops. You got to claim the ones that you already got, like the ones you've already earned. <sighs> All right, we're good on the potions now, so I'll just I'll cook some for when I come back. There we go. Oh, yeah, we need to see what quests we have now. The Absconder, Alamora, Ghost of Our Love. Well, let's go do the uh, In the Shadow of the Estate. Let's go do that one, I guess. That is the next on the list. So level 15, we're a little bit higher than that. I think we'll be okay. Oh, it's not even at Hogsmeade. I have not done this one yet. Oh, it's way far down south. I don't even, I've never been over there. Okay, well, that's going to be fun. I have not gone that far yet. There's a power thing here. There's some uh, Merlin trials around. Well, let's go to the one we can get to. I think that's going to be the one right here. And then let's go. I remember when Twitch drops just started, I would put on a bunch of streams just to play at one <laughs> at once and go to work. Oh, there you go. Yes. Broadens the mind. They caught on to that. Definitely, man. They were like, no, we can't have you guys just turn on a stream and not pay attention to it. We want you to claim it. <laughs> so you have to stop and go over and claim your, uh, your drops every time. Mysterious oh. and a bit unsettling. Wait, what What's to do? Oh, okay. We've already got. We got those. Actually, you know what? We do need another couple of these birds. Let's do that. Joker's gone wild. Cheered. Thank you very much for the cheer. Have a drink. It's been an hour and a half. I should do that. Yeah. I have been drinking slowly. I have some black tea right here. I have some black tea. That's getting cold. That's okay, though. I don't have it in the thermos. You know, because I'm lazy. Let me also. Get over here real quick. Give me that. Nope, you're not getting out of here. I'll look after you. Now I have a blue. I know that the males and females are different colors. Like that, those teal looking, the greenish looking ones, those are males. I know that. So I need a guy. And I want a guy and a girl. That way they can make babies. There we go. So I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of them. Not going to hurt you. Let me say. Also, these feathers you're going to need for a lot for uh, upgrades. So you need to have a lot of these birds for upgrades. All right. So we're good on that. Mm -hmm. I've already done this one over here. Okay, well, let's do it again, I guess. Revelio. We got to wait a minute. Let me throw some cabbages down there. You should know better than that by now. What's that? Who's there? I know I heard that. Let those cabbages kill them all. Look at them. What was that? Get them. Get them, cabbages. Up for a bit of dying, are we? All right, I guess. Hit a ranger with triple five. Oh. 
Down here? Nope. Okay, Revenia. good. And yeah, I think I've already yeah, I've already cleared the camp. Oh, but they do have some stuff over here. Beautiful. What the heck? Where am I going here? Okay, maybe we should just do this instead. I was gonna walk it so I can get some uh so I can you know find some items, pick up some stuff. Oh, there's a there's gonna be stuff down here. What's going on down here? This looks intriguing. Yeah, I like walking around because then you can find all the puzzles and stuff around the Merlin uh, stuff. Revelio. Okay. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Whoa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Not. Oh, we gotta go up here. Okay, got it. There we go. That's easy enough. I was wondering, I was like, what the heck does that have to do with anything? There you go. And I even got some lower end equipment. House emblem, scarf, lower end. Uh, seems like a legendary. So on step five of the uh, HL site, it says, in order to redeem your items, please install and log into the Hogwarts Legacy game. Because I need to buy and install the game then. Yes, 100%. Whenever you can, <laughs> just buy it and install it. See that? Oh, there is a Merlin uh, test over here. Fall damage. Oh! Let's see what's up your sleeve. I this still time, don't Mike. understand how to do these ones. I haven't figured these ones out yet. So there's probably a spell I haven't learned yet, but there's a crystal inside of here. You can't shoot it. Like it doesn't do anything. And I've used every spell on it. Confringer, defender, incendio, expelliarmus. And it just doesn't work. Like nothing works on it. Look at that. I can use the uh, Accio. pull, the push, Descendo. the push, the Rependo. pull, the down, nothing. Uh, freezing. Nothing. Levioso. Levitating. Arresto momentum. Nothing. Nothing seems to work on these dang uh, stones. I have no idea what it is. You can't. It doesn't matter if you climb on it. Like nothing. Nothing. So I have no idea what you're supposed to do with these stones. Find the moths. What? What? Are there moths around here? No, don't tell me that. Really? Don't tell me that there's moths that I have to find. This place has seen better days. They don't tell you that. Yeah, they're like clouds of tiny green moths. Well, I've seen those around. I didn't know that I needed that, though. Oh, man. Revelio. If that's the case, I swear to God, I've been... I, okay, what is this? Do I have to... Oh, wait a minute. I have to set my magic up again. I hate that they don't give you enough pages for everything. Expelliarmus. Lumos. Mother. Really? Really? I was, like, using every spell I could imagine on these dang stones. Oh, my God. I noticed that, but I thought they were, like, fireflies. I was like, oh, that looks nice. And I was ignoring them. I thought it was just a visual thing. I didn't realize it was part of the freaking... Rebellion. Oh, man. Well, there's a whole bunch of... Uh, there's a whole bunch of these I can do on my other one now. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, is it only in nighttime? Nope. It looks like it's anytime you want, I guess. I bet you it's easier to see it at night, for sure, because they glow green. But yeah, I thought they were just the fireflies. I was like, oh, okay, that looks cool. Man. Lumos. Man. Revelio. All right. Yeah, I bet you it's easier to see at night, for sure. Let's see if there's one up here, maybe. 
I second Xbox is the best. That's what I have it on, and it looks amazing, dude. It probably plays way more steady. Yep, there Lemos. it is. It probably plays more steady than a uh, PC, because that is the only knock I will have against the PC version. It just feels like it's not bad, not by any means, but it feels like they put more work into the console version to have oh. it run better. Uh. himself would be proud. There we go. It plays more stable and smoothly. Yes. Console specifically, they really went in and did the work on console. But, I mean, if you have it on PC, you have enough power behind it. You got to have a lot of RAM. You got to have a lot of power. You can pump this thing up. Like, the only thing I, I literally had to do was turn my um, ray tracing off. Like, um, where is it at? I have everything set to high. I have ray tracing turned off. Now, technically, I can run this all on ultra, no problem, but... When I stream and I'm playing, it really hits your PC really hard. So normally I can knock everything up to uh, ultra, no issues. When I'm streaming, I like to have a little bit of leeway, a little extra power to stream. So I'll turn it down to high. There we go. Oh, there's another one over here. Let's see if we can get some stuff going on. No challenge? I still see some more over there. Let's look around here. Get these chests open. Get some concentration. That ground slam one is brutal. It is. Like that. Boom. Yes. Let me see. I can show you. Revelio. Huh? What is this? Is this a plant I need? Probably. Oh no. It's a, oh, dang it, Moonstone. Oh well. We're down here now. Let's follow these tracks, I assume. Oh my god, there's a lot going on over here. Yeah, this looks like a this looks like a big meeting place. Let's get some of this stuff going. I was only following orders. Leave your accusations in someone else's direction if you don't mind. Wait. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Got you, buddy. Where are the other guys at? Oh, they're down on... Yeah, they're down on the ground. Okay. I think I can... I can get five people without uh, being seen. I'm, I'm thinking I could probably do five. Oh, he heard something. Is he coming over to investigate? Well, this might be the best meal I've had in years. No, I mean it. I don't think I should need to eat again till next week. I love it. 
Oh, guys. Splinter Cell all the way. Sam Fisher. You got him. Ravenia. Cinnamon Bark. It seems that at least one goblin finds the food at this encampment a bit bland and is taken to adding cinnamon bark to their stew to liven it up. All right. Any other stuff around here? I don't see any. I mean, the ancient uh, magic ground slam when you... Oh, you pick up and slam them repeatedly on... Yes, dude. That is brutal. Just smash them over and over on the ground until they die. It's like, dang. <laughs> Revenio. That's pretty intense, man. Up, loyalist uh, sentinel. Go. What's going on out there? I think I'm gonna do the whole area. I love it. Yeah, dude. You've one less follower, Ranrock. That's how you do Rebellion. it. That's probably the only time it's ever going to happen like that. <laughs> I can't believe I went through the whole area without being seen. That's pretty awesome. Got to I'm impressed with myself on that. All right, there's a cave around here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go underneath. Let's see where this cave leads to. Harmony also is the only one to pull a, a gun out of someone in the move. Pull a gun on someone? Oh, I'm going to have to watch that. Put a gun on somebody? What the hell? I don't think we can kill these fish. Oh, look at this. I'm going to have some secret door over here, huh? All right, so there's going to be a contraption to open this door somewhere. I mean, do I just... Do I, is it obvious? Is it that obvious? Accio. Capulso. Descendo. Levitate? Levioso. No, I was going to say, that might be too obvious. Just to use levitate magic on it. Revelio. All right. I cannot use my broom. Oh, there's a thing over here to pull. Let's see. I think that opened the door. Yes, it did. Revelio. Anything else around here? I don't see anything. Literally this whole area just for that? Are you kidding? That is crazy. They gave me this whole area for that. Oh, wait a minute. How do we get out? Over here? That's crazy. I like how the way uh, Molly killed Beatrix is more forgivable than a spell. They uh, kill quickly and painlessly. Oh! See, now you guys are getting into the Harry Potter uh, lore stuff. I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> Revelio. Do, do, do. I guess we're going to fly up there because uh, I can't... What? I don't have enough space. There we go. We do have butterflies over here. Seppuku. Seppuku? Oh my god, there's a roof here. There's a roof here! I know Seppuku. <laughs> uh, Rebellion. Let's follow these Butterflies. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Oh, you really want me to follow you, huh? Going up here. They don't highlight. That's kind of weird. Wait a minute. Oh. Does it ring for that? 
It did ring for the chest. Okay. I didn't think it would ring for the chest. Oh, the otters. Oh, I've been looking for these guys. All right. There's a purple one. Niffler. Yeah. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Hey, we use the same broom. Nice. There you go. I don't know. I, I'm looking to get more fancy brooms, but right now, yeah. That is the one I'm using. Everything's all right. Now. Revelio. You can't get away. All right. We got a few of them, so we're, we should be okay now. Oh, there is a, um, a chest up here. There's a great quest for this location up in uh, Irondale, I believe. Ooh, might need to search around for some side stuff when we're over here. Oh, and furnace. Oh, dang it. Really? I hit a tree? Incendium. Oh, they're fighting spiders. Okay. Easy enough. There's a victory that came none too soon. Ah, oh, I wasn't paying oh. attention to my objectives. Dang it. Rebellion. Oh, I know these ones. Okay. I know I those. Know I might try when I see one. The Fendo sounds more like Bazinga to me. You know what I do? Bazinga! <laughs> uh. Where'd the other one go? It was right over here. Revelio. There you are. Confringo. Oh. Revelio. There's another one around here somewhere. Oh, it looks like there's another two around here. Confringo. Uh. Yeah. Revelio. Oh, well, there's more than that? Where's the other one? Oh, up there. Confringo. Oh, not close enough. These mud there trials we won't get the go. best of me. The potato one I hear. <laughs> potato. Uh Good to know I will be purchasing the next day. That's for sure. This game just looks too awesome, dude. This game is really fun. And I can only imagine it's even more fun when you, uh, like, read all the books, watched all the movies back in the day. And so now you're just interested in seeing the, the world more the fleshed out. There. Never stopped me before. What the heck? Where? There's no darkness. What are you talking about? Okay. Protato, the protective vegetable. Exactly. <laughs> uh, oh, balloons. <laughs> Let's get these ones ahead of time. That way we don't have to do them later on, because I'm sure there'll be an objective later on. It's true. Eat a big meal, you'll be slowed down. Light, and you'll be swift. Who wants to be... Oh, there's a nice town over here. I like it. Revelio. I like that Might too. Better than patrol duty. Just lighting everything up. Oh yeah, let's get these guys over here. We have some more. Look at all of this stuff. 
Can get these. No, not yet. <laughs> That's another thing. I don't know what how these work. Revelio. They highlight. And some of them you can interact with, but I have no idea how they work. Oh, wait a minute. They'll land on these platforms. Those are Quidditch platforms. You can unlock... I don't know what with them, but you have to land on them to get the challenge done. Give me my fast travel real quick. You Oof. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu. Exactly. <laughs> when you couldn't fast travel. Later on, Jason. Okay. Okay. I kind of figured. Uh, I actually think the story would have been better to follow up to the film than a Fantastic Beast. Oh, I don't. I've seen the Fantastic Beast movies, so I have no idea. How do you get the uh, broom? You Sit. made it. It is deep in the game. It's about ten hours in. So as you progress the main storyline, you'll get to a class of broom flying. But it's it's deep in. It's like ten hours in. So if you want to get it as fast as possible, mainline all of the uh, main objectives and you'll get there. I don't know if you want to do that, but if you really need the broom really quickly, that's the only way to do it. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. Rookwood. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Oh, really? Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anna I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. All right, let's go. Oh, we're going to walk way. there. All right. Okay, you lead the way, buddy. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here oh. we are. Look at my this sister cool should cabin. be just inside. I like it. Only 10 hours in if you spend as much time as exploring as Jason. Well, that's true. I was all over the place. So maybe less than 10. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. Nothing The sooner can. you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> Yelling <laughs> makes it <laughs> worse. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Okay, buddy. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Oh, I need to go in here and talk to people? Let me talk to the dad first, because he's kind of being a jerk. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne. Oh, but nothing can be done for her. There's something. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, oh. thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. 
Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. Oh, math? I, uh, dude, there is so much in this game that I hope the, the, uh, borrow and put in the new Fable game. Because, dude, this feels like a Fable game with a, uh, Harry Potter skin on top of it. Like, I, what I would imagine it would be. Oh, it's so much. I, yes, 100%. I wish and I hope that the new Fable game takes a lot of, uh, inspiration from this. But who knows? I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. No, you don't. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you remember what I've said. Good day. Good day. Good day to you. I said good day. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. I Sebastian am. and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I can try. Uh, wait, wait, wait. When is the new Fable coming out? Slight. They uh, they announced it. They said they're working on it. Microsoft is because they own the IP now. Now that uh, the original Fable creator, uh, two, 21 Cans. No, no, no. Uh, before that, Black and White. No. The original creator, Peter Molyneux. He, he is, um, the company shut down. Microsoft owns the IP. They are making a new Fable game. But that's all we know. We don't know the date. We haven't seen anything other than a little teaser trailer. We haven't seen any gameplay or anything yet. So I have no idea. But they are making a new Fable game. I'm just, I really hope it's in, it's something similar to Hogwarts Legacy or like the older games, like one and two. I don't want it to be some weird, like on rails carriage game <laughs> or anything like that. Uh, I can try to tell Sebastian. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Lionhead, Thank you. Lionhead. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Lionhead Studio. Uh, Lionhead Games. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Let me steal your stuff. Letter from Sebastian to his sister. Dear Anne, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still as foul, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I hope you feel better. Let me steal an apple from you. Revelio. Oh, there's a chest over there. Another letter. Sebastian, this is my potion kit. Not yours. Leave my things be. <laughs> Don't mess with my stuff. All right. Uh, Peter Molyneux. Yeah, Peter Molyneux. I believe. I know his name is Molyneux. Oh, let's go over here to this. But yeah, they did a game called Black and White way back in the day. And oh, the original Fable games were amazing. The fel Fieldcroft Well. Uh, the well in Fieldcroft ran dry some 400 years ago during the Great Drought. 
Sadly, many perished as a result, including at least one young boy whose father refused to speak for years thereafter. Legend says that all was saved when a group of benevolent witches and wizards used a never-before-seen power magic to restore water to the powerful magic used to restore the water to the region. That's what we saw. They made it rain. They made it rain here. Revelio. So that's where Sebastian, he's from this little town, this little uh, village. I'm surprised they don't have a next-gen Harry Potter bundle like they do with every other game. I don't... I don't... With everything surrounding the game, I'm not surprised. I'm Why sure... Why would she not listen to me? She's my sister. I'm sure they were like, look, we love the game. And you did a lot of, you know, a lot of care for it. But there's a lot of kerfluffle around it. So maybe we won't do that. 